Welcome back. I'm Curtis Smith. We've been receiving mail from you asking questions about gardening here in the Southwest, and we thank you for these questions. They help us determine what we should be doing programs on, and we have some questions we can answer then. Now, we won't be able to answer every question that comes in, but we do appreciate your mail. Here, we have a letter from Mary in Albuquerque who says, I have some ice plant growing outside. It's winter now, and I was wondering if I have to wait until spring to take some cuttings to start more. Mary, that's a good question. Right now is a good time to be starting new plants. And the ice plant, which is growing outside, can be propagated inside at this season. And in fact, there are other plants that can be brought in and propagated. So when it's spring and it's time to put things out in the garden, you have things ready to go. Let's see how we do that. What I like to do is take just a styrofoam cup, which is very easy then to punch holes in. You can use a regular garden pot as well. I happen to have this one handy. I want to put some holes in it so we can drain. I put some in the bottom, but I also put some along the side so if the bottom becomes clogged up as it sits on the soil or something, we get drainage anyway. It's important that we have drainage. And what we'll do is take some potting soil, and I keep some in this can here. We just want to fill this pot with potting soil. And then all we'll do is take some of these cuttings of ice plant, push them into the soil, maybe about two plants per pot. We'll water it. Initially, we don't have to put a lot of water in, and the ice plant being a succulent doesn't need a tremendous amount of water, but it does need to be kept moist. And it's ready to go. Good, we're getting a little bit of water draining through, so we're not going to get salt accumulation. And we also received a letter from Alamogordo. In this one, Joan asked us how to propagate African violets. She said, I have heard that African violets are easy to propagate. How do you recommend this be done? Joan, an African violet is really an easy plant to propagate or to start from a cutting. In this case, we'll use leaf cuttings, which means we look at the plant. and We don't want one of the oldest leaves. We really don't want a real young leaf. We want a, kind of a middle-aged leaf. We'll reach into here and we'll just try and, try and snap it off. You could cut it with a knife if you need to. And in this case, I am going to shorten it. I want to cut it. I want to let it sit out for a few seconds while I'm doing everything else let it tuberize or dry on the end. What I'm going to do is take a cup, any kind of cup you want to use, I'm going to fill it with water. I want to come pretty close to the top as I do that. Now, I'm going to cover it with saran, and then I'm going to put a rubber band on to hold that so it stays sealed. It's also nice because if I tip it over, it's less likely to spill, but I'm going to change that in a minute to create some problems. Now, cuttings root better. The roots grow better in the dark, so I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. And if I don't have enough there, I've got some more that I can wrap around the side. And this will help keep the light away from the roots as they're forming, and the plant will grow a little more rapidly. Now we've got a problem. I've got it covered. I need to get the cutting inside here. So what I'm going to do is take either a knife or a sharp pencil, and I like the sharp pencil, put a hole in the center. Now it's a very easy matter to put the cutting through the plastic and the aluminum foil into the water, and we're done. It will stay here in about four weeks or so. Roots will begin to form, and a few weeks after that, a small plant will begin to grow at the cut end of this leaf. Once that's happened, you can take the plant out and plant the new little plant in some potting soil and watch it grow. Now, you don't have to do this. You can take the cutting and put it in soil. Um, very often, this will work very well. Sometimes, it'll rot. And so, I like to use the water method to propagate. But you can do it either way you want to. If there are others of you out there who have questions for us, feel free to write to us. We can't promise to answer every question, but we'll either use your question as something to guide us in developing the program, or we'll try and answer your question on the air. If you want to write, you can send your letter to Curtis Smith, care of Southwest Yard and Garden, 9301 Indian School Road, Northeast, Suite 112, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87112, or you can send an email to cusmith at nmsu dot edu.